Friday to you. It is March 12th in time for this week's Friday Funnies. And I can't believe it's the 12th of March already. I mean, this week has flown by faster than a Prius through a stop sign. And maybe it just seemed fast to me because last week I set my clocks ahead one hour for daylight savings time, just like I told you to. And I'm very, very sorry if you did it because I was off by about a week. So I really apologize. I've been early for everything all week long, and I hope I didn't cause you any inconvenience. You know, plenty has happened this week without even mentioning, without even mentioning the image that is burned into our collective brains of Rahm Emanuel standing naked in a locker room yelling at former Congressman Eric Massa. And then Massa called Emanuel, and I quote, the son of Satan's spawn. Rather harsh words, you know, but oddly enough, Emmanuel was not able to come up with his birth certificate to disprove that charge. <laughs> that said, here's this week's news. We've often heard the term got milk, but this week it takes on two completely different meanings. First off, in Owensboro, Kentucky, a woman in jail for public intoxication assaulted her jailer by squirting her with breast milk. Ew, gross. The inmate was, was changing into her orange jail jumpsuit when all of a sudden she just uh, whipped out her, her weapon and squirted a female jailer who was in there with her right in the face with, with breast milk. She is now charged with felony assault and lactating without a license. <laughs> Meanwhile, in New York City, Chef Daniel Angerer, who is the chef of the Cli Brasserie, he is offering cheese made from his wife's breast milk. Yeah, he serves it as an appetizer with a fig and a Hungarian pepper. Calling Dr. Freud, Dr. Sigmund Freud, please pick up a white courtesy phone. As for me, knowing that uh, Chef Angerer is prone to using human fluids in his, uh, in his foods, I would be very, very leery of ordering the pea soup. All right, using breast milk as a weapon, that's one thing, and that's pretty weird. But this next story makes that story seem like it was written by the Brothers Grimm. Megan Barnes, that's Megan right there. Megan Barnes was driving down to Key West, Florida for a date with her boyfriend. Well, she wasn't exactly driving. She was behind the steering wheel and her foot was on the gas pedal, but the steering wheel was being controlled by her ex-husband who was sitting in the seat next to her, going down to visit her boyfriend. Why couldn't she drive, you may ask? That is a very good question. That's because Megan was busy at the time shaving her bikini area, as the police report stated it, to get ready for her date. All right, so she's there shaving, and the, and the ex-husband's steering, and she's got her foot on the gas, and needless to say, they, they ran into another car. They rear-ended another car. But uh, fortunately, no one was injured. It was a close shave. <laughs> All right. I learned something. I actually learned something this week from this next story that I did not know. I learned about uh, black market butt enhancements. Actually, I learned that people actually pay to have their butts enhanced. Apparently, people looking for a bigger booty, they go in and they have injections of something called Moraz. Well, I'm kidding. I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure that what they inject them with is not supposed to be household caulk. Because six women in New Jersey, they went to a discount butt, butt enhancement uh, uh, practitioner to get their uh, butts made larger, and he injected them with caulk. The women got infections in the area and are now suing the doctor, but on the bright side, their butt cheeks are now watertight and protected for up to 30 degrees below zero. <coughs> and finally, it's a new feature on this week's Friday Funnies, the Dumbass of the Week Award. And it was hard to pick out this week's winner. We got one woman squirting, squirting breast milk. We got another guy shooting cock in your butt. But the winner this week goes to 27-year-old Sir James Smith. Now, that's his first name, Sir. He is not, a, he's not royalty. He is not even, even British. Sir James Smith had just gotten out of the Putnamville Correctional Facility in Indiana, where he had served four months for selling marijuana. 
So it was his day to get out. He was picked up by his wife, Charmaine Q. Charmaine Q, who is also, I don't believe, British. She picked him up from the joint, and as they're heading out the gate, they decided to spark up a joint of a different kind in celebration. Well, a few blocks down the road, the police picked up Charmaine Q's car because of an expired license plate. And when she rolled down the window, all of the marijuana smoke bellowed out into the policeman's face. So I, I certainly hope that Sir James enjoyed his 37 minutes of freedom because he's now on the way back to his royal kingdom. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Remember, and I mean it this time, I'm really serious, set your clocks ahead on Sunday, one hour for daylight savings time. I, I'm not kidding. I really mean it. So uh, I'll see you then next week. Oh, and by the way, by the way, coming up Monday, Ides of March. Ides of March, so watch your back. And coming up Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day. You don't want to be early or late for either one of those. Set your clocks ahead. I'll see you next Friday.